How old is the universe really? It's almost unbelievable that less than a century ago, humanity had barely begun to understand what lay beyond our own galaxy. For most astronomers of the time, the Milky Way wasn't just home, it was the entire cosmos. Then, in 1917, Heber Curtis spotted a sudden flare inside what people then called the Andromeda Nebula. It looked like a brand new star bursting to life. Novae usually brighten fast and fade slowly, so the event caught his attention. Driven by curiosity, he dug through old photographic plates, hoping to find more clues. To his surprise, he uncovered 11 additional novae in the same region. But what fascinated him even more was how faint they appeared compared with similar events in our own galaxy. That dimness was a clue. Using it, Curtis calculated that Andromeda must be incredibly far, about half a million light years away. If that were true, Andromeda couldn't be a small cloud inside the Milky Way, it had to be a separate galaxy entirely. His conclusion shook the scientific world and opened humanity's eyes to a much larger universe. Yet despite this breakthrough, most scientists still pictured the cosmos as motionless and eternal. Even Einstein adjusted his equations with a cosmological constant to keep the universe from collapsing or expanding. It seemed safer to assume nothing was moving. But in 1928, Edwin Hubble's careful observations of distant galaxies revealed something astonishing. Everything was drifting apart. The universe wasn't sitting still, it was stretching in every direction. And if it was expanding now, it must have been smaller in the past. That realization meant the universe had a beginning, and its age could be calculated by tracing that expansion backward. Hubble's first estimate placed the universe at only about 2 billion years old, a number we now know was dramatically too small. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background in 1965 finally silenced doubts about cosmic expansion, confirming that space itself had been growing since a primordial beginning. Even with that certainty, the exact rate of expansion remained elusive. Scientists debated fiercely, offering wildly different estimates of the universe's age. Some as short as 8 billion years, others stretching to 18 billion. The mystery of how fast the cosmos was unfolding kept cosmologists arguing for decades. The tension in the numbers grew sharper once astronomers began estimating the ages of the oldest main-sequence stars and realized many were comfortably older than 8 billion years. That created an unsettling paradox. Stars cannot predate the universe itself. Cosmology hit a wall until the Hubble Space Telescope stepped in. In 1997, its observations shattered that impasse by revealing that the universe wasn't merely expanding. It was speeding up, driven by a mysterious, repulsive phenomenon scientists named dark energy. Once dark energy was woven into the story of cosmic expansion, astronomers calculated a new age for the universe, about 13.8 billion years. But this led to another thorny issue. A key number used to describe how fast the universe expands, the Hubble constant, refused to agree with itself. Precise measurements from the cosmic microwave background pointed toward about 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Yet observations of nearby stars and galaxies gave higher values. Suddenly, the foundation of the universe's age looked less secure. This disagreement sparked a provocative question. What if our estimate of the universe's age isn't the full picture? That possibility grew stronger when scientists examined a particular group of ancient stars in the Milky Way. The star cluster M92, located roughly 27,000 light years from Earth, appeared to be astonishingly old, so old that its estimated age brushed up against and at times seemed to exceed the universe's own. Current studies put it at about 13.8 billion years, potentially redefining the lower limit of the universe's age and offering new insight into how the cosmos unfolded. It sits right at the edge, said astronomer Martin Ying of Dartmouth College. It helps us set the minimum age of the universe. A cluster like this shouldn't exist before the universe does. Globular clusters such as M92 are convenient cosmic laboratories because their stars form together, giving astronomers a unified population to analyze. Stars live out their lives differently depending on how massive they were at birth. Heavy stars burn hot and fast, while smaller ones linger for eons. 
By studying which stars in a cluster have evolved beyond their main fuel-burning stage, scientists can trace the cluster's moment of origin. Yet traditional age estimates rely heavily on assumptions about how stars evolve. Wanting a more dependable approach, Ying and his team turned to computational modeling. They created 20,000 synthetic star populations for M92, each one representing a possible age. They then compared the color and brightness of each simulated population with data gathered by the Hubble Space Telescope. The best match revealed the most likely age. Earlier studies relied on only one simulated group of stars, which left room for substantial uncertainty. By testing thousands of variations, the researchers dramatically reduced the guesswork, cutting the uncertainty by about half. Their results placed M92 at roughly 13.8 billion years old, with an error margin of around 750 million years. Strikingly, this is nearly identical to the current leading estimate for the universe's age, just a bit above 13.8 billion years, with only about 24 million years of uncertainty. One potential way to reconcile the lingering tension is simple but profound. Reconsider the universe's age altogether. Cosmologist and study co-author Mike Boylan Cochin from the University of Texas at Austin put it bluntly, if we take the Hubble tension seriously, then we also have to admit that our confidence in the universe's age is shakier than we'd like to believe. His remark has reignited interest in a recent University of Ottawa proposal suggesting the universe might not be 13.8 billion years old at all, but more than twice that age, around 26.7 billion years. That alternative model leans heavily on the existence of puzzling stars such as Methuselah, objects that seem too ancient for our current cosmological timeline, and on the unexpected discoveries made by the Webb telescope. Webb has uncovered extremely early galaxies, visible only 300 million years after the Big Bang, that already appear remarkably massive and mature. They look as though they've undergone billions of years of development, despite existing in what we thought was the universe's infancy. This contradiction has placed cosmologists in a strange position. With better computational tools, refined theories, more precise measurements of ancient clusters like M92, and new glimpses of primordial galaxies emerging from the cosmic dark ages, many researchers argue that it may be time to reevaluate our assumptions. So what does that mean for us? Is the universe truly older than the beloved 13.8 billion year figure? Do we need a new framework altogether? Physicist Michio Kaku was already hinting at this a year ago. He noted that if the universe turns out to be older than our standard model suggests, many accepted ideas would need adjusting. In books such as The God Equation, Physics of the Future, and The Future of Humanity, the universe is consistently described as being around 13 billion years old. But what if that number is off? This is where things get messy. The Webb Telescope has been overturning long-held expectations, Suddenly, researchers are confronting the possibility that foundational ideas about cosmic origins may need rewriting. Creating a galaxy on the scale of the Milky Way, home to roughly 100 billion stars, should require billions of years of gradual assembly. Yet the Webb Telescope has spotted six enormous galaxies existing a mere 500 million years after the Big Bang, some of them up to 10 times more massive than the Milky Way. According to everything we thought we knew, that scenario should be impossible. Massive galaxies shouldn't have had enough time to grow so quickly. Something in our understanding doesn't fit. And if these findings continue to hold up, we may be standing on the edge of a profound revision, one that reshapes our theory of how the universe began.